Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to do a trailer review for Logan. So, Logan is going to be the final Wolverine movie, um, you know, with Hugh Jackman. This is going to be the final time we actually see Hugh Jackman portray the character of Wolverine, or in this case, Logan. By the way, fun fact, I am wearing a Deadpool shirt as I am doing this trailer review because, you know, Wolverine, Logan, Deadpool, X-Men Universe. This looks like a completely different comic book movie, definitely. And this film is going to be rated R, which I find to be interesting. And I think after watching the trailer, I think I could see why they're actually going more for an R-rated rating for this film because... Man, it doesn't look like your usual, oh, this epic superhero movie, hero versus villain. No, this looks like a normal human story. Like, it's a, it's in the comic book world, but it looks like a normal human story where you see that Logan is starting to lose his powers and even Professor Xavier isn't looking all that great. And then in the trailer we see this little girl who is revealed to be some kind of clone of Logan. I think that this film looks like it'll still have your usual action, like you're going to get your baddest Wolverine moments, definitely, and the trailer showcases that, but also showcases that this is going to be a depressing movie like this looks like a very sad movie and that's actually pretty refreshing and knowing that this is going to be Hugh Jackman's last time portraying Wolverine yeah it is going to be sad it'll be sad because it'll be the final time we see him as Wolverine but it'll be sad because of the overall tone that the film is going for and man when Logan just says that the mute that the mutants are all dead now and you just see him drinking while he's at the cemetery like man that was some really depressing stuff right there to be honest the cinematography does look gorgeous in the film and it really does set the overall tone and atmosphere of what we're gonna see and Logan and the fact that they use the Johnny Cash song hurt I think that was a brilliant music Music choice to use for the trailer of Logan. There's the regular trailer and there's the Red Band trailer and they're both the same. The only difference is each trailer has only one shot that's a little bit different. There's one shot in the regular trailer where you see Wolverine blocking someone with his claws and then in the Red Band trailer there's one shot where you see Wolverine literally put his claws through the dude's head and it was freaking awesome. It just looks like an emotional ride and I definitely hope Logan can deliver on being a badass film but also being this very emotional film and deliver on this more human story. Like it feels like more of a human story than it does a superhero story. I personally love this trailer. This trailer just blew me away, man. And like I said, the music choice just made that even better. And I just love what we see throughout the trailer. Yeah, I'm I'm hyped for Logan. I was already hyped for it as it is, but I think I'm even more hyped after watching this trailer because wow. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what you think of the trailer of Logan. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Uh, I'd like to know your opinion. And of course, you guys, thank you so much for watching this trailer review. I do really appreciate it. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. One last time, bub. <laughs> well, just pretend there are claws there. There's no claws, but, you know, just pretend.